So yeah. you bring up the nine trades. I was going to ask you later. You made you made a video with uh, John recently about uh, Takashi, which was a which was a really interesting video. I'm, I don't know. Have you gotten a lot of negative feedback because of the video? I mean, I'm sure. I'm just saying the whole thing with me is with that kid is like I know he says stupid shit, but he's a kid, man. He's like 21 years old. He has not a clue what's going on. You know, he was just a little kid. They abused him pretty much his own gang. I mean, I understand he was getting people hurt or whatever. But the kids, the kids really a lost soul, man. He don't know what's going on really yet. You know, he's like 20, 21, I think. You know, he's just making a lot of money. He has a lot of fans. And, you know, that's all I was trying to say is that they're picking on the kid. He's kind of like picking on the weak. You know what I mean? He's a little guy. You know, it's not like I just don't like when people reach out to hurt him, say, oh, they better do something. If you're saying on national TV, then you're really not really meaning that because if you're going to promote violence on somebody on TV in front of millions of people, you're just talking to sound good. Because nobody's going to order a hit on fucking national TV. It just sounds stupid. It's not real. It's make-believe. And rappers like to do that to build their status in the rap world when half of them never did anything in their lives. I can talk, are you talking about Boozy? What Boozy said about Yeah, yeah. He aggravates me. Him, I don't care what he's done. All these guys, they promote violence on this kid. And I understand he ratted whatever he did. But half of you dudes never even did nothing. Like, you are just promoting rap songs. You have guys around you that are probably shooters and killers and all that. But you yourself as rappers... Come on, man. You never really did nothing. I was in the street. I was shooting. I was I was doing everything. You, you, you never did half the stuff I even did. So like, I just get mad when they promote violence on a kid uh, because he was once blood or whatever he did. You usually you just saying on TV, he's really ain't doing nothing. That's all I'm going to say. Like, come on. Stop pretending. Like, I hate that. That's it gets me mad. How could it be possible that a rapper could really be a street guy? You can't. You'll get the police will see you immediately. You're well known. You can't no, be. Was, well, listen, there was rappers that were really involved. Don't get me wrong, but nowadays these kids like, come on, man, they're like lost souls. Well, these kids, I don't even know half of them are. They just they just promote the violence, and then once they get caught, they, I think some of them even put guns in themselves to get locked up for promotion. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Those gun charges are not all serious. Yeah. All right. yeah. You no, know, I had attempts in my life. I've been through hell and back. There's nothing good about it. You know, you'll learn these people now. When you when you go through it, it's easy to look at it and say, "Oh, that's what's up. That's cool." Until you go through it, until your house gets shot up, till your friends are dead, till you got bullet holes in you, till you know, till then all that happens and it ain't cool no more. You know. Well, there's a big difference also between the mafia and the and the street gangs. At least you know I'm familiar with the street gangs in LA, which used to be the most violent street gangs in America. And there's still I met people from the '80s and stuff right. like that that are killed 30, 40 people by hand. They're called, uh, you know, hitters. They go hunt right. people individually. But they're killing people for no reason a lot of times. Exactly. You know, even, even like the MS-13s, like, I personally hate that gang. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't like their their whole their whole way of doing things. They kill women. They rape women. That's like cartel shit. As I said before, bloods really don't go for that either. I know in jail... A lot of organizations don't go for those crimes. If you hurt a child, you rape a woman, you know, stuff like that, you pretty much are going to get beat up in jail. You know, you can't live nine out of ten times. And um, that's why I don't like the organization. They chop people with machetes for no reason. That's not a tough guy. When I was in jail with them, I used to go, listen, I want to hear about your murders if you're talking about killing a nine-year-old girl. That's not a murder. They really like that on the East Coast? Yeah, because when when I went into the witness union, you've got to be with these guys that have these horrific crimes – you know, and you're all, all murderers, all killers. And I was with MS-13s and they used to talk about they got bodies and they turn out to be little girls. I'm like, get the fuck away from me. I'll slap you. Like, you're a clown. You know, I don't like that. You know what I mean? That's not impressive to me, you know? Killing another bad guy is still bad, but you're killing another bad guy. Killing yeah. a little kid or raping a woman, you just need to be fucking beat up every day, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. what I was trying to get at is like the street gang mentality here, you know, it was born out of hatred and anger. It's really more about needing they don't have families they grow up without a father grow up with you know bad circumstances it's it's not sort of like the italian mafia where there's a history there's a culture not not anymore maybe but in the 60s or you know where people were they had maybe it was a little bit sneaky but they had like they were looking for money originally and they they were organized and they did whereas the street gang guys at least in la it was more of just making a reputation for yourself as much of a fearsome human being as you could be you know right. I don't know if in New York it's still like that because you guys, it's New York, it's in New York City. You guys have cameras everywhere. Are the bloods really going around shooting people? No, they're still, no, they're still killing each other like crazy. But um, really, uh, yeah, the bloods, the gang members are still killing each other like crazy. That's that that's not going to stop in New York. That's that's never going to stop. So you uh, think Shark- Takashi is actually in danger? Violence in gangs will never stop. The mafia is washed up. They don't they don't do nothing no more. Really, the get a shooting out of them is like it, it's rare. You know what I mean? But street gangs, no, they're still the same. In New York, 
So you think Takashi is actually in danger? Yeah.